Good morning and welcome to Study IQ, my dear friends. I am Prashant Mavani. I hope you all are doing good. Today is 11th April 2020. I would like to start today's discussion with this quote that you can see on your screen. No disease that can be treated by diet should be treated with any other means. Uh, this quote is pertaining to non-communicable diseases. For example, obesity. So if you want to, uh, you know, get rid of uh, a few kilos, uh, then the best thing is to do a little bit of exercise and uh, choose or eat healthy things, right? A diet does not mean you have to you have to starve or stay hungry. Diet basically means to to go for healthy options. So anyway, think about it with this, dear friends. Today is a Saturday, so we don't have that many articles on our table. Uh, we are going to go through three articles. Uh, one is lives and uh, livelihood. Uh, st uh, stage fright and then we have team india and winning the pandemic battle this one is about the politics of usa moving ahead dear friends i would like to introduce all of you to our pen drive and tablet courses uh, there are thousands of students out there they have cracked various different competitive exams with the help of our pen drive and tablet courses you can purchase them from studyiq.com if you have any question queries doubts regarding it you can give us a call on the numbers that you can See you on your screen. To download the PDF of today's lecture, check out my Telegram channel. Please make sure that you share this lecture with other students. Hit the like button if you have learned something from today's discussion. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Lives and livelihood. I have a question for you. Very simple question, but I want you guys to take part in this question, right? I want you guys to give your spontaneous answer. From which date India is under lockdown? Or lockdown started on which particular date? This is your question. Stick your answer right now. Right? It doesn't matter if your answer is right or wrong. It's the first spontaneous answer that you have in your mind. Stick that answer in the comment section. I want to see how many of you can get it right. Now, 21-day lockdown. The big question that uh, Prime Minister, Council of Ministers, Cabinet Ministers, our uh, you know, uh, CMs, Governors, President, uh, then you have uh, chief secretaries of various different states, district collectors, all of them, right? And there are so many other people. Everyone is, particularly the government, right, is uh, is brainstorming on this thing, like uh, whether we should extend this lockdown or we should uh, lift it. If we have to lift it, then how we are going to do it? So these are the things on which government is brainstorming. And it is very important as well that we do uh, a sort of uh, brainstorming on this thing because if we if we unlock our country right uh, then the thing is you you don't know what will happen because we don't have any particular medicine for this coronavirus and as you know the things are like numbers are going up and up every single day i'll take you through those numbers as well today we have this uh, you know this all three articles today the thing is that you find so many points are overlapping but we are going to stick with the most important points anyway. So between saving lives and ensuring livelihoods, we had like this two options only. And I feel proud about India that we decided that we will go ahead with saving lives. And a few days ago, Vice President Vyanka Naiduji said the same thing, that when it comes to saving economy and saving lives, of course, we have to save uh, you know, lives, of course, uh, because... Economy, it may take, let's say, a few years, maybe, we don't know, but th because this is something new altogether, right? The world has never seen this sort of thing. So, we will uh, get back to normal on economical front. Maybe it will take a little bit, uh, you know, extra time. But what about people's lives, right? Once someone is gone, is gone, right? So, you can do nothing about it. So this is a very good decision. Even I know that uh, it is going to hurt us very badly on economical front. Uh, there are so many people, they have already lost their livelihood. And uh, there are so many companies, they are also going through a huge amount of uh, struggle. Uh, their loans, amount, interest are piling up. We have like a big informal sector in our country as well. So if you have a loan, if you have taken loan from a a proper channel or a, from a bank then of course you will get moratorium but what about uh, your loans from uh, private financers uh, they will not give you uh, I'm not saying everyone is I'm not uh, you know painting them with this bad color what I'm saying is that uh, informal things are a bit different right uh, you don't get this sort of things like uh, moratorium and other things so 
it's going it's going to be tough for many companies and many businesses and uh, at present industry bodies are creating this pressure as well because they are under tremendous pressure they are the pressure from industry body is uh, rising up and many of them they fear that if this lockdown will continue let's say for a fortnight then this will destroy their business uh, right uh, forever uh, they will be out of the business so there are many industries there are many businesses uh, they are complaining this thing so i think india will go ahead with a, a sort of a phased lockdown you know that uh, step by step we will open up and uh, we have to do it as well we have no other option because we cannot continue this lockdown for a very long period of time uh, you know we have to end it as well we have to think about it so there should be a um, you can say some a very innovative i would say or an out of the box solution lives could be lost to hunger and livelihoods uh, sacrificed in lockdown and this is right now uh, in this editorial this editorial is is uh, is giving its opinion that uh, we can have another uh, economic relief package a second round of economic relief package the earlier earlier was uh, 1.7 lakh crore rupees package remember and this was around 1.1% of our gdp now this editorial team is saying that we should go ahead with a full fledged 5% of our gdp worth package and this will cost us some 10 lakh crore rupees this is a big thing and it is also saying that government should not worry about uh, fiscal conservatism or fiscal management at present at present what we should focus on is to uh, to provide this uh, you know survival items uh, to our our poor people for example giving 3000 rupees per month uh, for next 3 months uh, so this cash transfer should be given Uh, free rations and cooking gas uh, should be uh, you know should be provided for another 3 months as announced earlier uh, then uh, nbfcs as well should be nbfcs are like few days ago when rbi came out with its uh, its its a decision to provide this uh, holiday not holiday but moratorium on 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 this loans so rbi was not specific about nbfcs so nbfcs are nbfcs basically means non banking financial companies so they are worried about this moratorium whether they will get moratorium or not but they should get and, and once nbfcs will get moratorium because m- m- huge amount of or maximum uh, clients of nbfcs are small businesses so if nbfcs if they will get moratorium then they can pass this moratorium to uh, the small businesses who have taken loan from this nbfcs so this will help the whole chain so we need to do that and the bankruptcy code we need to suspend it for next 6 months there should be a holiday on gst holiday basically means no gst for next 3 months there are people who are saying that this will cost us 3 lakh crore rupees but no that's not right because our economy when our economy is in a normal state then we are making 3 lakh 1 lakh crore on an average uh, per month uh, when i say we make i mean to say government gets 1 lakh crore approx uh, per month from gst but at present economy is in a state of chokehold so it's not going to be that big maybe 10000 uh, or maybe less than i think less than uh, it's not going to be than 10000 either it's going to be somewhere around 5000 6000 crore rupees so this is not a big amount so we can get rid of it you know we can we can give a holiday this is a affordable thing that we can do so this will give extra time for the people right B- businesses they can focus on their normal business rather than statutory compliances and the bottom line is that uh, generous support from the government and quickly delivered is the need of the hour now the second one stage fright uh, stage fright this one is talking about uh, the various different stages and Uh, health ministry has uh, said that there is no evidence of community transmission so let me take you through news item first you find this thing on the first page of uh, the hindu newspaper i'm not sure about other newspapers but i think you will find the same sort of uh, news item now look at this figure here uh, this one is from last night uh, 10 pm friday night 847 new cases in one day right 847 so the number as you can see here right the bars are getting higher and higher and this is a matter of concern so judging by 
this numbers, this bar here, I can clearly see there is, you know, lockdown is going to get extended. The, I'm not sure whether this is a very, you know, latest. Oh, right. This is a new, okay, no distancing. This is a Friday uh, picture from, uh, this is uh, Delhi, West Delhi, uh, Friday. That is yesterday. It's very sad. When this whole uh, Jamaati, uh, that Jamaat uh, issue whole, when that came out, right? Uh, Tablighi Jamaat issue, uh, when it was out. Uh, so people, I saw a sort of wave, right? People were, people started hating this, uh, you know, Jamaat, uh, Jamaati people, this uh, Tablighi Jamaat people. I'm not talking about Muslims here, right? Uh, let me be very specific here. I'm talking about Tablighi, those people who are member of this, that means there was there there is still a sort of wave that people are are um, you know they are they are basically saying that they are not patriot patriot enough and they are like basically destroying our country and things but it's not about i'm not trying to save them right uh, i don't uh, uh, to be honest personally right i'm i don't uh, i'm not happy with their behavior the way they were uh, you know spitting and a few days ago there was a they throw a, a urine bottle and they're misbehaving with nurses and all these things. So this is something, this is not acceptable at all. At the same time, right, when we see this sort of pictures, and this is not just uh, from Delhi, you find this sort of, if you if you go through local channels, right, uh, nowadays we have this local channels in our news, uh, in our uh, television, isn't it? So if you go through local channels, then you will find this sort of uh, things, this sort of gatherings, right, people like it's like a you know people coming out and it's like a big festival or carnival thing like people are gathering in food markets and like they are never going to get food so this is not acceptable means if 98 percent indians are staying indoors and if even two percent if they come out then this will go out of control right i am not saying two percent let's say just 10,000 15,000 people if they don't behave properly then this whole 21 day lockdown or this extension will not bear any fruits so let me take you through this infographic this one is from times of india this one is not new right let me tell you it's about uh, maybe two weeks old uh, this infographic or maybe one or two weeks old i'm not sure about the date but this one is from times of india i'm sure about it uh, this one is quite famous one so there are four stages of uh, pandemic the first one is cases mostly imported from affected countries so things are like coronavirus how it started it was imported isn't it, it, it it's it's a it's a foreign product or foreign virus then um, when you come in touch with a person who is positive then you can get it so this is one to one and then we have this community stage where diseases uh, disease or diseases uh, spreads in community large areas gets affected so in public places and other places you can get it and then you have this fourth stage, which is very, very dangerous one, right? It is like a, uh, you know, a sort of start of a chain reaction. Now, how can we keep it in stage two or three? Quarantine, contact tracing, stop mass gathering, awareness preparation, these are the things that we are already doing. So we are doing our level best. The government is doing its level best. And I'm sure every one of us are trying really hard as well to stay indoors. And we should do it, right? We should do it because we don't have any other option. I still remember quite clearly the words of uh, Prime Minister. He said that if we don't, uh, you know, do the things that are necessary in this 21 days, then our country can go back 21 years. So that's a big, big thing coming from Prime Minister. The nationwide, let me go uh, take you through this uh, few lines here as well. States uh, cite a surge to extend lockdown. Death toll across uh, country has climbed to 206. Uh, Union Health Ministry has denied evidence of community transmission and the nationwide debt toll okay sorry we have already talked about it uh, the ministry's uh, response follows and icmr that is indian council of medical research has said that there has been a sort of uh, a limited community transmission so if you go through the lines of this editorial you find limited community transmission has started taking place in few districts like 36 districts in 15 states they have evidence of community transmission so things are exacerbating or things are this is uh, you know this coronavirus is gradually it is spreading and the numbers are increasing so it is very very important for us that we change the way we are dealing with it we have to enforce 
a bit more, I would say, a more severe uh, lockdown. We have seen this thing that in few places where things are nearly normal, police and local administration has been a bit liberal, but we should not make that mistake. Uh, the best example that we have is Bilwala, right? Bilwala of Rajasthan. It was uh, considered as Italy of India, but today you can see it has turned itself into a, a role model district. And the main reason why they uh, succeeded in doing this is because uh, they started uh, this one-to-one, -one, you know, door-to-door -door campaign. Each and every single family uh, was tested. So now we have to do the same thing uh, for, uh, I think, all the whole nation or those highly affected districts and until and unless we find medicine this is this is going to go on that's what i think right it's it's going to stay with us this uh, coronavirus so while the criteria for testing across india uh, remains the same the testing norms uh, for high focus area will now include people with influenza like illness ili if you have a little bit of symptoms like uh, cough and uh, you know cold and other things fever then we have to test those people as well antibody testing should be carried out whenever molecular tests on this patients turns out to be negative if molecular test is negative then that person should be uh, tested under this antibody testing so that's basically we need to change the way uh, testing is conducted. Moving on to third item, this article is written by a doctor. Now you won't find anything new in it. When I say new, I mean to say, of course, there are a few points here and there. But overall, you know, uh, the things because things with uh, coronavirus, because we have talked about it uh, so many times now. So here you, yes, in this article, we find a few questions that we need to ask ourselves. Like when will we move COVID-19 from tense present to past tense uh, the honest answer is we have to find a medicine until and unless uh, you know if we don't have that medicine then it's going to be a bit difficult it's going to be very difficult and the more lockdown continues or extends it's going to be painful from economical front as well uh, i think this is uh, my uh, viewpoint uh, that uh, now we will have this, uh, you know, uh, just like states, we have these divisions of various districts. Now, districts will also think about emergency. There will be a corner for emergency, like uh, medicines. If you have, let's say, uh, let's say medicine for malaria. If you are importing this medicine from your neighboring district, then now districts can also think about it. How about having your own? Um, uh, factory right a district should have at least factory of few items like few medicines uh, I'm, I'm sure it's not going to be profitable and it's not going to be if, uh, from business point of view it's not going to be viable from emergency point of view it's going to be very helpful what about a food stock right rather than storing food at a central level or a particular district in your state or a city in your state how about distributing it or keeping it uh, as per population so in case if there is any future lockdown not just coronavirus led lockdown maybe in future after two years maybe five years god forbid but if in case if we have anything like that then uh, this lockdown should not affect the whole nation we can we can isolate those a few districts where you find this thing and this districts uh, will be more self-reliant right so we have to create this uh, a new self-reliance way of life that's what I think we should do, right? It will cost us, to, but it will be very beneficial in long term. So India has to chart out its own strategy in terms of making medical equipment, in terms of, uh, um, you know, releasing the nation from lockdown stage by stage because we don't have any experience. The whole world, we don't have any experience or we don't have any, as far as I know, proven things on this, like which is the best way. So we have to, it's more like trial and error. Step by step is the best thing. That's what we did with our economical package as well. For First 1.7, then RBI came out with, repo rate cut and other things so this helps us uh, you know we can we can take challenges if we, if we give everything that we have then if things go out of control then we do we will left with nothing so we don't want to see that do we now globalization lies uh, shredded as we read of france and germany right their uh, mask consignment was uh, seized by america 
so is america you know looting it or is you know from between america has just to seized this uh, ship that was carrying masks from china to and it was for france and germany so this can create you know this is just one incident but uh, you know we don't we cannot lose civility and we cannot uh, have this sort of situation where people will or countries will start to snatching things from each other few questions uh, which i find quite logical in this article is did the lockdown benefit us and will we gain further by extending it fully or partially i think as far as saving lives are concerned yes it has helped us a lot and extending it economically it may create loss but in terms of uh, lives yes uh, it will help us will we be in a position to gear up the capacity of our health system yes we have done uh, so far things are not that bad but uh, there are things that we can do right uh, there is always something uh, that we can do how can we uh, try our response uh, strategy to best use our limited resources this is a very important question we have limited resources like we don't have that much money like country like usa italy and other countries so whatever we have we have to uh, utilize uh, utilize it uh, optimally Uh, make the m- m- make the most out of it or best out of it are there favorable factors which suggest that india will have a less extensive spread or a, a milder manis- manifestation of illness uh, it looks like right it looks like but still government uh, will be the best uh, party to answer this question and what kind of partnership a uh, partnerships need to be mobilized in the country to develop and deliver an effective response at the same time i would say we need a global partnership as well that is also important so global partnership at the same time uh, various different states rather than blaming each other and uh, you know party politics and all these things uh, should take a break uh, should be on holiday and the most important thing should be nation first and killing this coronavirus So these are the things and now the best uh, few points that we should discuss here is again see these points are also talking about surveillance and uh, intensifying this testing yes we know that but the good thing or the positive side about our country is younger age profile right demographic dividend we have talked about demographic dividend early on as well and this is an advantage natural advantage for our country that uh, maximum people in our country are quite young so the chances of recovery their immune system is as you know right uh, bit well compared to elderly people and a uh, huge amount of even today somewhere around 65% of our population resides in a rural area uh, compared to china europe uh, united states uh, they have uh, big cities and uh, most of their people they live in city area It is also said that uh, other coronaviruses uh, they vein out in hot weather so let's hope uh, that this novel coronavirus will not survive in this hot weather now summer is not that far from us and uh, this article as i told you is written by a doctor so he is talking about a game of cricket now he is uh, you know very um, means I quite enjoyed his example that he said that this coronavirus is a batsman and uh, doctors and medical staff are like bowlers and the fielders are public government and other people you know so we should make sure that uh, you know this medicine people or this medical people they are doing everything possible to uh, you know to 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 lbw this or clean bowl this coronavirus but uh, we should by uh, locking ourselves and cooperating we should make sure that uh, even if the ball comes to you make sure that it cannot to score you know so it's a very good example i think primary health care facilities district hospitals public and private tertiary care institutions we need to uh, gather them up older staff uh, should provide uh, supervisory support rather than being there in front line and last thing is that uh, we should have this uh, flexibility or uh, you know a, a, at a very uh, short notice as well we should be able to create a temporary hospitals and uh, quarantine facilities so this news item we have already gone through it now let's uh, talk about this one a bit of pill the indian pharma industry is hit by the restrictions imposed by the lockdown pharma and medical device producers are operating at just 
20 to 30 percent of their capacity. Uh, ready to help uh, Indians uh, return has been said by UAE. UAE said that uh, even after they return to India, they, they can get help from UAE. Uh, 70 health staff in Bhopal test positive. That's a very sad news. India pounds uh, LOC, uh, terror launch pads, Pakistan army sites. India has uh, retaliated and we have destroyed a few launch pads um, of Pakistan. This terror launch pads. Tougher norms likely for public transportation has been said by Kerala. And you can see here that uh, min our health minister has said that uh, country is unlikely to face an un unmanageable crisis from COVID-19. And I hope, right, that's what happens, right? Let's hope for the best, fingers crossed. And then I have two questions for you. As per Stockholm International Peace Research Institute to CIPRI, in the period between 2019-13 and 2014-18, Indian defense imports increased and exports decreased. This statement is true or false. Second question is identify the incorrect pair. So you have on one side country and then you have capital. So countries, uh, you have Yemen, UAE, Oman and Qatar. And then in capital, you have Aden, Abu Dhabi, Muscat and Doha. And that's everything from my side, dear friends, as far as the Hindu analysis is concerned. I will, I will directly meet you on Monday. Daily financial news analysis, you will get it. Today's daily financial news analysis, you will get it on our channel at around 5 p.m. Till then, enjoy your studies. Uh, enjoy your weekend. God bless you all. Jai Hind.